MetaTrader Trade Tracking Journal is finally here. With the help of this journal you can track and analyze your MetaTrader trades. In this video I will guide you through the process of using and setting up the spreadsheet. When you first open it there should be some sample data inside, so you can have a look how everything works. Let's go through each of tabs and look at its purpose. The buttons tab. This is where most of the controls for workbook are located. Here you can import your CSV file, compile it in supported format, delete all of the data, refresh the workbook, change the font for text and main dashboard. When you delete data from the data tab, it will ask you for the row number, the row number to delete all of the data is number 4. It means everything under row 4, including row 4, will be deleted. But you can also use it to delete data for example below row 300 or row 50. But to delete all of the data, it is always row 4. The next tab we are checking out is the main dashboard. You can access it at the side menu or at its tab next to the buttons tab. The top part of main dashboard shows all time statistics, everything underneath is date range statistics. There is many filters to filter out your trades. You can filter your trades by year, months, days, by loss or win, by buy type, long or short. Can filter out trades by manually added demons or mistakes and strategies. And also filter by day of the week, this will show the trades closed on particular weekday. And the last filter is symbol or ticker filter. Make sure to reset your filters after finishing to review your trades. Just press the little X on top of the filter to reset it. Be aware that there is one filter what should NT be reset as it is filtering out unnecessary blank data. It is the the win, loss filter. It is at its reset state when both, win and loss are selected. After adding new data and strategies or mistakes you need to refresh the workbook manually. You can do it easily by pressing the green refresh button. At the bottom of page you will see a summary of the data sheet. Found it quite useful not to check out the filtered trades on the same page rather going back to data sheet and searching there. This data at the bottom of page is not editable and is just a projection of data sheet. Next we got the data tab. Here comes all of your compiled data. Here you can add demons, mistakes and strategies. It's quite simple, just select one of cells and choose the value from drop down list. I will show you how to edit mistake and strategy names a bit later. Also here you can see all of the formulas used to run the statistics. Feel free to, to add your own. Just unhide the columns and add new column into the table. Next let's move to the dashboard 2 sheet. Here you can view the same statistics as in main dashboard and a bit more. Here you can add your start balance, it is connected to formulas so it's advisable to enter it. Also here you can enter your daily risk percentage. What will show current currency value risk from the current account balance. Any drawdown below it, will be marked in datasheet in red color. Here also you can enter your own strategies and mistakes. Be aware that strategies and mistakes are editable only on the left side of the sheet, right side is connected with formulas. I also added an option to add multiple accounts to your journal. It is not necessary but it might be useful. You need to add the account name manually. You add the name in dashboard 2 and then copy the same name into column E, what is account column in the data tab. Then just select the cell and extend it through the required trades. Here you also can add your profit goal and then there will be displayed a progress bar. Just make sure it don't create an emotional pressure to your trading. Left side is all time statistics and right side is date range statistics. You can change the date on the top of page. Next tab is demons or mistakes sheet. This is an interactive monthly tracker. It will count how many times you have entered the particular mistake in data sheet. Also I added one separate perfect trade tracker, to track your perfect trades. You can edit the mistakes in dashboard 2 sheet. And moving forward onto strategy tab. This is an interactive monthly strategy tracker what will display your strategy performance by month. See total trades, total gain or loss, winners and win percentage for each strategy and day. 
Next tab is a yearly, monthly PNL tracker. It is also fully interactive by a year. It is also possible to filter the calendar by account or all accounts together. Next we got the brain of importing and compiling. This is where the CSV file gets imported, then compiled, and finally split into pivot charts for main dashboard. Sheets, Sheet 1 and Database. Importing and compiling the trades. First you will need to export your trade statement to Excel file. I will add a link to a video in the description. First you would export it as HTM file, then select all, copy and paste it into a new workbook or into MetaTrader Journal Sheet 1 tab. Be aware that you need to delete all data located in Sheet 1 to paste the new data inside. When it is done, just press the compile button. And it is ready. There is one important process, what must be done to avoid errors. Sometimes you will have an open positions in between batches of trades. Then these trades must be closed manually. You just look out for open trades in the data sheet, should be located at the very end of the data. And close it manually by entering the close date, close time, sell quantity, price, commission and PL and then delete the first row of the following batch of trades. I hope I covered everything. Let me know if you got any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to see more content. Thank you for watching.